Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. Today I have some items sent to me by beautybigbang.com and I'm going to try to do some art with a few of the items. First off are two gel polishes. They come in a bag on the outside and a box on the inside. Very nice in case it leaks during transit, you're protected. This is 9A. J6498TM-98. All the links and all the, the direct links and all the item numbers will be below as always. This is my first hand look at these colors. So I'm going to swatch. No. I'm not even going to swatch them out. Let's just. Should I? I guess I should swatch them out so that I will know what it is. Okay, this is going to be 9A. I don't know about you, but I, I like the look of a shiny bottle. I just don't like that. For me, even though I've, I've sprayed my hands with alcohol before I've touched it, I'm still leaving fingerprints. So this is a pale, pale pink. It makes some great bridal nails. And I probably will be using it this spring for such. Let me show you off the box. J649TM and the color is 7A. I'm gonna try to use them both. Yeah, I think they will go together. This lovely green. Show you what else I have here. Of course, I have stamping plates. So far, I've never gone wrong with one of their stamping plates. They're always etched beautifully. This is their extra large 072. And I can feel the etching right through the plastic. That's a great sign that they're etched really well. That'd be cool for fall designs, spring designs, weddings. Look at the leaf. I may pull some of these today. I may save them for another design later. Of course, I had to get one of their small plates. This is item number, I wrote it on the back, BB at BS, so that's Beauty Big Bang Small, plate number 31. Look at these images. I was thinking about using some of the leaves, maybe for Halloween some of the trees. Look, there's deer on here, there's flamingos, there's birds. This would make great for wedding, summer, fall, galaxy nails. And then there's water. Look at that. I believe that's mountains. I'll have to check that out. It's all sorts of beautiful images. Look at the lady with the parasol. And again, I can feel it through it. But with stamping plates, you do want to take off this blue. And I have had some that came with clear. So take off that. Right now, as I'm going, I'm thinking I'm going to use this right here. Yes, some people are cringing when I use metal. But if you know how to do it right, you won't scratch your plate. If you don't, then by all means use, by all means, if you don't know how, I just do it parallel and pop it up. If you don't know how, use your wood, orange wood stick. I just had that right next to me. A couple of other things I have here. Look at the, the holographic gold stripes. These are stickers. This is item number U094-1A. I'm probably gonna save this for the for another manicure because I have these. More of the 5D stickers. These are their fall leaves and acorns. And this is item U947 and it's color option 6C. I'll link the video up here where I first used them. I used the white ones and some pastel ones. And I wasn't sure if you should top coat over it. It works fine. So I'm gonna try to use these. I'm doing this right off the top of my head, right as I'm sitting here with you. Sometimes I prefer to do it that way. Okay, most of the time I prefer to do it that way. Now these come in, I just took the bag off. There's another sleeve to protect them. So you could store these in a photo album, wherever you store your stamping plates when you're not using them. I love how that raised texture is. Green, this is the 7A color. I'm gonna 
try to do a swirl, I'm going to try to do an ombre, so let's just do this color on this nail too. If you have longer nails, you may want to do the tips first, then sort of brush it back. Just get out a cleanup brush, get it off of your skin. If you went over like I did, this e.l.f. cleanup brush is incredible. I love it. Thank you, Girly Nail 66 for sending this to me last Christmas. I think she's tired of seeing me have gel posh on my cuticles. So I'm going to cure these two real quick. So first, I'm going to try Well, that was a bust. Okay, the white was overpowering the green, so that's a bust. I just cure these in my lamp. Peel it off at the end. So instead, let's try to ombre them together. Find my, one of my ombre brushes. Okay, so I got out my trusty ombre brush. I'm gonna do them both. Probably do a reverse. See if they will ombre out in different ways. If you need to, you can always get a liner brush out to get close to your cuticles. I'm that one that fusses with my getting close to my cuticles because I don't wear them that often. I really don't. I'll put it on. You see me doing videos twice a week. Usually I've got to take it back off for the next video. I just want to go a little farther out. So I don't wear them for a month on end that often. I've only ombre colors like three times, so bear with me. You could also use a fan brush or something like this. I may use this. No, this is my Beauty Big Bang dotting tool. I love that tool with the brush on the end. I'm just going to tickle the colors together. Seems like I put too much green on this one. I'm going to try to pull it this way. Not too much green. That one ombre out pretty good. This one I put too much gel on. I'm just not feeling good enough to redo it. So it's more like a swirly look. Okay, I'm thinking to just put a little bit more of the number nine. That baby pink just because I goofed up. With as much art as I'm doing on top, I don't think I actually need to put two coats on. It'll get too thick on your nails. So let's just try to feather this up like I still ombre it. Yeah. Maybe if I feather this one down, If I would have had white or green on here, it would have melted into it a little bit more. I'm just going for a nice fluid look. Give this a cure. Okay, they're all cured up. Okay, on to some stamping and then some stickers. All this will make a little more sense. I have to cuticle oil it up. Number four and number two. So two, three, and four. Put them in order. Two, three, and four. If I find these 
Just look up on her gel polishes on Beauty Big Bang. It's been over a year since I had them, but they keep their stuff out. I'm just going to place a little bit on the image. Of each color. I would recommend you opening the lids first. Open them all up. Put a little on your plate. Give it a scrape. You can scrape more than once if you need to. If you have extra, if you're worried you're going to get it on your nail, take it off. If you're not worried, then don't worry about it. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to put it. I just came up with something else I want to do. Since this is this is regular polish, stamping polish, it will. I've just thought of something else I want to do. I am going to use the tree image. Probably won't get it all on my nails. Oops, I didn't scrape at a 45. on your skin it will just wash off afterwards or you can use a little nail polish remover okay I decided I want to do some more leaves to me these are like falling leaves I really like their stamp polishes because they don't dry out very fast but they dry out just fast enough that you don't have to wait just figured out something else that I want to do and if you miss a spot I've got extra on my stamper and just go back in and add a little extra with your stamper I just figured out since how this kind of turned out I want to do something with that I'm gonna use I want the non-typical image from this just add some more bronzy color to my nail. See if I didn't get enough of the image, I can just go back, get some more. Granted, the pattern isn't always going to match up if you're doing it so fast and you're not paying attention. Going for matching, matching, matching. I do want that deer or the leaf or the deer or the leaf or the deer or the leaf. I don't know. Let's get a purple leaf for this one. I'm just going to take the leaf out of the center. And how you do that is you just take off what you don't want. This took off the stem by accident, but it probably wouldn't fit anyways. You get a little leaf for the background. This is all background. I'm tempted to say this isn't busy enough back here. And with these polishes, it seems that you don't really 100% have to clean off the clay between every use. I haven't wiped it off yet. I'm just gonna use purple in two and three. Like a purple and a gold. With some leaves falling at the foot of this tree. The tree is getting more into winter time with this look. With what I just did. Okay, when you're done stamping, tighten those lids up. Okay, when you're done, get your cotton claw out, clean up with acetone soon as possible and then wipe it off with a clean cloth you'll be good to go but filming we don't always have time for that so now I've got the wonderful stickers anybody out there knows where I can find another one of these please please let me know 
I would really appreciate it because this it just works so well at prying up something like this when you have long nails. And so far with these, I haven't had to take off the tacky layer. And you can press it down with your stamper. Or, I love this Beauty Big Bang silicone tool with the C-curve. It just matches so well. I love it, love it, love it. Anybody know where you can get one of these at? Please, please let me know. This girl's wanting one. I've had this for over a decade. This is the particular end that I love. Green over green isn't a good, the best choice in the matter. We'll put an acorn falling at the bottom of the tree. Probably should have used a smaller sticker. Yes, smaller. We just pull them up, put them back on here for later. Probably be using this more. Just pull it up. These have an adhesive backing. They are true stickers. So now I've got it stuck down here. You know, I like to do evens and odds, but I have such small fingernails right now. If I do my thumb, I'd get that big one. It's so pretty. These are so gorgeous. Just trying to do them in some kind of a not straight up pattern. sticker so you just apply it you need to cut it these are these are just thread nippers I believe moon baby nails was using similar and I realized how awesome they were I got these off of Amazon this is like a 10 pack for next to nothing now you know I hate to waste anything could put it back on side look with it you just don't want to go up past your free edge I don't like that because it's not covering close to my edge of the sidewall of my nail I'm going to clean up my cuticles, oil them up, take a picture, put it at the end of the video. I thank everyone for being here with me today. I really appreciate it all. I'd like to thank Beauty Big Bangs for sending me these items to play with. They'll be featured in more videos coming up. Again, if you want to see the first time I ever used the 5D stickers, I'll try to link the video up here. Thank you for being here with me today, everyone. Every minute you watch by me is so appreciated. Till next time, you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.